There we go on WPSD Local 6 Legal Line, uh, part one of today's uh, episode featuring attorneys from the Bryan Law Center, the Honorable Mark Bryant, the Honorable Emily Roark, answering your questions, one 208 And uh, I think we talked uh, maybe a month or so ago, Mark, about the barred power port, and uh, this is something that concerns that. Uh, someone says, my wife has been considering getting one of those uh, as an implant, but I've heard there's a lawsuit against them. What is it for? Well, I'll tell you what, apparently they are doing these surgeries around our region because when we were on television about a month ago about the barred port, uh, we got several calls here from people that had problems with them and had to have surgeries, had to have the port taken out. And the problem is, is the, the design and the material it's made out of. These suits are being filed all across the United States and we've got several of them ourselves. But the, uh, uh, the material is sloughing off and going into people's bodies, and as a result of that, it's causing people to have serious problems, vascular problems, and, and so many of them are having to have these things taken out. And so you're having to undergo an additional surgery. So if you know anybody's got a problem with a barred power port, why don't you tell them to give us a buzz, and we'll be glad to look into it for them. Next question comes from someone who says, I have used hair relaxers for over 10 years and have recently been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. I think there's a link between the two. Do I have a case? Absolutely, yes. So that's a mass tort that's been going on for some time, but they have found a link between, or, or there is a potential link between hair, hair relaxers and ovarian cancer and other female cancers. So if you've used hair relaxer, and, and some people I think are confused about what a hair relaxer is, but um, you know if you've used those, uh, there are a ton of them out there. Uh, but if you've used those, and you have any kind of ovarian or female cancers of any type, please give us a call because uh, there is a, a mass uh, district litigation out there and we would be happy to help you um, file a claim. Next question comes from Ben who says, I worked in construction about 10 years ago uh, where I believe I was exposed to asbestos because now I have mesothelioma and we are certainly sorry to hear that. Uh, this uh, gentleman wants to know, can I still get workers compensation? Well, Ben, uh, the answer is maybe. Uh, it depends on when you knew because according to the law, when you claim that you've got this as a result of working at a place, you've got to make the claim within two years of the date that you learned of it. And so if you waited too long, you're out of luck. Uh, but if you're within that two year time frame, you can file a claim, but they're very difficult to process because you've got to prove that it happened at a place that you worked in. And the only, place, the only way you can get mesothelioma is by being around asbestos, working around it, being around it. And a lot of these old buildings now, they have asbestos in them, uh, but there's, it's pretty well dormant until you tear the building down or you go work on something inside the building uh, that opens up the, uh, uh, the asbestos. And so uh, as long as you're in a position where you knew within the last two years uh, and you can prove which place you were working at, uh, you probably have a case. But I think anybody that has asbestos, we, give us a call and let us see if we can help you. Um, because if, if you've actually been diagnosed with mesothelioma, meso, let's just put it that way, and Mark can say it right here in a minute. Uh, if you've been diagnosed with meso and you've been in contact with asbestos, uh, give us a call. We'd like to talk to you about it because we want to we want to look into every area uh, about possibilities regarding that. Mass torts and personal injury, two topics of discussion for our attorneys from Local 6 Legal Line and uh, part two coming up and we've got questions in the pipeline. We'll get into those next right after this timeout on Local 6 Midday.